couple tick videos on how to prevent tick bites in the past, but today we're gonna talk about a specific tick called the Lone Star Tick. We have several species here in Nebraska, but one you may not be familiar with is that Lone Star Tick. The reason we want to become familiar with it is because it has the potential to cause some harm to human health, including the association between tick bites and the red meat allergy. The red meat allergy is also called the alpha-gal syndrome, and it is a delayed allergic reaction to red meat. And this includes when a human eats beef, pork, venison, lamb, or rabbit. And alpha-gal is also found in the saliva of the Lone Star Tick. When the Lone Star Tick bites a human, that alpha-gal molecule stays in the body, and after someone eats red meat, may have a mild or severe allergic reaction. And this occurs about four to six hours after the red meat is consumed. Unfortunately, there is no cure for the red meat allergy or alpha-gal syndrome, and the person who is allergic has to stop eating red meat. So let's take a look at what this tick looks like. The Lone Star Tick, as an female adult has a white spot on its back, which is why it's called the Lone Star Tick. The male does not have this, but it looks like these golden horseshoes at its bottom end. They have very rounded bodies, so they're more like a circle than an oval compared to some of our dog ticks, and they have really long mouth parts. We also need to keep in mind that ticks have various life stages, so they can be a lot smaller, and we call those larvae seed ticks, which are like pepper flakes, and they can also be a little bigger in the nymph stages, but all these stages can bite. These Lone Star ticks are commonly found in woodland areas where there's dense vegetation, very similar to some of our state parks, our backyards, and some other wooded areas. These are very aggressive biters, so unlike some of our dog ticks that will crawl up our body and try to embed in our scalp, these ones will start biting as soon as they get to skin. So we're talking ankles and legs and the groin area, knee pits. So you want to be able to check yourself fully after you come in from outdoor activity. If you're looking to learn more and get a refresher about tick safety, we've got some excellent videos that we've done in the past. So go to the Backyard Farmer YouTube channel and check those out.